Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watcher of Realms video. It is 0747, Tuesday, February the 20th, and we are back in Faction Trials today. Let's go there. Trial of the Piercers. Power of Dominance is off. The reason we're back in Faction Trials is because now that Ajax is usable in all Faction Trials, I got a few requests to do updated videos using Ajax showing optimal placement for him. So this one's not going to be minimum champs, that sort of thing. It's not really a challenge. It's just where is Ajax most useful? If you're struggling, I have other piercer videos. I have step-by-step -step walkthroughs without Ajax. I have one without using any lords. I have one without using any power, without any any magic damage. There's options. Check them out if you're struggling. This one is going to be. I'm going to talk about a couple options and where he'll, he's used most optimally. So the good thing about piercers is that you have options. He can be used effectively anywhere, but optimally is going to be right here. And the reason why he's optimal right here is because he's going to cover the top lane where your Livian is going to be, and he can cover the bottom lane down here where you're going to tank with either Aracha or Absin, either one. Let's get Livian on the board. Top lane has to be tanked by Livian. You need her uh, to stay alive. You need her for more stuns. You need her to block more folks. Let's get Nyx up. Nyx is uh, really best in slot here for top left because she's going to AoE down here and take out the suicide bugs. If you don't have Nyx, then arguably Ajax would be best here facing down so that he can ult when the suicide bugs start walking up. But if you have Nyx, place her here. Let's keep moving. Livian's almost dead. Let's get Nisande. Assuming you have a Lord, place Nisande in the bottom facing up. That way she can heal both lanes. She can heal Livian and she can heal either Absin or Aracha down here. If you don't have a Lord, then you need to use two two heal healers. You'll need to use uh, Nisande and Billy. Mm. Sorry, I really thought uh, Livian was set up there to have an extra block, but she's not. I have no idea how these folks are geared right now. All right, so we put Ajax on the board, covering both lanes, middle lane and bottom lane. Nisande's left. If you're actually gearing for this, uh, you know, trying to clear it the first time, then build her tanky, high attack, high HP, high defense, put a Bastion ring on her so that she can tank one extra unit. AoE damage up top left. Nyx here is best in slot. You can also use Razak, you can also use Kai, but Nyx is absolutely best. Let's get Nisande to heal. Uh, Livian. This time, since I know I don't have Bastion Ring on, I will ult with Ajax. We're going to get our tank down, and we want to put our tank here in the front tile instead of back towards the portal, because Ajax can cover this bottom lane, and these big tanks, uh, magic damage uh, does more damage to them. So he's going to be absolutely perfect there. This one uh, if you have Silas, this is a good question here, because if you have him facing left, he can hit the boss early before the boss actually comes to your tank on the bottom. Or if you're struggling to keep up with all of the enemies up top, the very first time I cleared this, I was struggling with the final wave. You can have him facing up, and with a Lord bonus, he can cover both lanes also. So whichever one your account is capable of, do that. You want some magic damage up in the top right. I'm going to place Hex there. If you don't have Hex, if you don't have uh, the Merman guy, ult with Nyx to take care of the suicide bugs, these guys are priority number one. When they explode, they do a lot of damage. Let's slow it down. If you don't have Hex, if you don't have the Merman guy, Pelagios or whatever his name is, um, you can use poison damage here. You can use Cutter or Liam, and they will both work. Your Livian should easily be able to survive one suicide bug exploding, but probably won't be able to survive two. 
Aracha died because I don't have her built like a tank. If you actually are gearing for this to clear it the first time, build your Absin and your Aracha like a tank. Put Lunacy Visor on them so they can have an extra block and uh, high HP, high defense. A ult with Nyx to take care of the suicide bugs. Hex is done. He did his job. Uh, assuming you can kill those tanks in the top right with your magic damage dealer and you don't uh, you just want to pull them afterwards so that you can place someone else in this lane in this top spot facing down to help your Nyx because you want to get rid of those suicide bugs they will do a lot of damage let's pick it back up we're going to ult with Silas. We're going to ult with Ajax once everyone gets in range. If Absin dies, we'll throw Aracha down. Oh, no one's built like a tank. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do this without. Oh, yeah. Single hit. <laughs> All right. Well, let's... uh. I don't know whether to keep that or actually fix it to show for the example, right? Because all of the concepts are the same. You would just gear your champ correctly. So um, for the sake of completeness, if you're happy with that and you understand the concepts that I was that I was putting across, then thank you so much for your time. Please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Join the Discord server. If you're not happy with that, stick around. I'm going to throw some tank gear on uh, Aracha really quickly. Let's uh, or let's say you don't have a Racha, right? I'll take her out. I'll throw Absin in there, and uh, just to show you that you don't need her. So let's go to Absin. Let's swap some gear. Let's just put my Brakir stuff on him. Let's put that on him, and then what you would do is you would put Lunacy Visor on him. Mm, yeah, we'll take hers. All right, now I'll go through this um, in two times speed the whole time. That way we don't waste time. Let's throw Lunaria in there. Let's assume you don't have a Racha. Make it a little bit easier. We're going to put Ajax down, covering both lanes. Livian down, covering both lanes. Nyx, top left, AoE damage. <laughs> now Livian won't stay alive without the Aracha bonus. All right, let's try again. That's easy. Easy adjustment. These are the things that, as you're playing through, <clears throat> you just kind of, you find a spot where it's failing, and you're like, oh, okay, how do I fix that one thing without messing up the rest of the run? So this one, since I don't need Nyx on the board next, because I'll be able to ult with Ajax, I just put Nisande down next. And that's an easy fix. It maintains the capability and it keeps Livian alive. And then I just put Nyx next. If she was actually built like a good tank, right? If you actually put good tanky gear on her, it wouldn't be an issue. But uh, like I said, I didn't re-gear anyone for this. So it is what it is. Let's ult with Ajax. We'll put Absent on the board. I'm going to put Silas facing up so that he can cover both lanes. Put Hex top right. There we go. Now Absin is surviving much, much better. Ult with Nyx on the suicide bugs. We'll 
ult with Silas to take care of these big tanks. That way we don't even have to worry about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hex is going to take care. When this second round of tanks comes from the top right, there's only two rounds. So if you're using Hex, he's the easiest one to use there. If you don't have him, like I said, you can use other magic damage dealers. You can use Lunaria. You can use Pelagios. Um, you can use Liam. You can use Cutter. But pull them when they're done and then place your extra DPS for the next round of Suicide Bugs, whoever that is. If you want, you can throw someone like an Eadril down or you know someone with legit DPS. Eadril can hit anyone on the board, but you can put more DPS behind uh, behind Ajax. You could put more DPS over here behind Nisande. Wherever you need that extra DPS, if you're putting Razak up here, wait to ult until the bugs start moving because his animation takes a few seconds. Let's ult as everyone gets on the gets to us. Now that Nyx and Razak have done their job, we can pull them. We can throw Hex down. He'll do a little bit extra damage there. And now you can see Absent is tanking just fine. No problems whatsoever. Just put some tank gear on him. And it's much, much, much easier. So right here on the boss, you can see like nothing is damaging the boss at all. Um, the big, the best way to take care of the boss is uh, Silas ignoring defense. And second, the second best way to do it is actually with Liam and Cutter. Their poison damage will drop the boss fast. Very, very, very fast. And now Silas will nuke, and that is it. And you can see, oh, he's he's webbed. He can't do anything. That's fine. So while this is cleaning up, that is the that is the run. Uh, if you stuck around for both of them, I appreciate your time tremendously. Please support the channel if you appreciated this. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. I hope it was helpful. I will see you in the next one.